Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We continue our journey through Psalm 49, wealth and death closely intertwined with each other. And we continue looking at verse 10 and verse 11. Verse 10, the foolish and the senseless when they die and the rich who live uh, without taking God into consideration, they leave their wealth to others. You cannot carry money with you into eternity. You are going to leave it all behind. So all what the foolish rich have accumulated with so much care and worshipped with so idolatrous an affection, it's going to pass into the hands of others. That's verse 10. Now we come to verse 11. Their tombs will remain their houses forever, their dwellings for endless generations, though they had named lands after themselves. Now, what does this verse mean, verse 11? It kind of seems somewhat strange to our ears. What verse 11 says is, their graves are their houses forever. I mean, you can build a mansion, <laughs> but at death, you leave it all behind and your grave becomes your house. What a sobering thought. Their inward thought, what they will not say openly, their secret desire, they want their mansion houses to continue forever. They want it to remain in the custody of their children and grandchildren. They want it to remain in the family. And they hope that their names, which they have put on their lands, shall never die. I remember uh, one of my good friends, uh, his dad died many, many years ago. And his dad was wealthy. And his uh, dad owned a huge house with a large uh, property. And a few days after the dad's death, my friend invited me to come with him uh, to clean the house. And I still remember the first thing that he removed. Right at the gate, there was a pillar, massive pillar. And on that pillar was the name of his dad uh, engraved on, uh, on a solid uh, piece of wood and which had been there for years and years and years and years. And with a simple stroke of a hammer, he removed that piece of wood which carried his dad's name and he threw it into the garbage. And that's what this verse is talking about. Here are the rich who have never taken God into consideration, who have been uh, uh, living a, a very futile way of life. And uh, they inwardly think and they are desiring that their names should be remembered forever and forever and ever and not forgotten. The sad thing is they never gave one thought to their names being written in heaven. And uh, that's something that we also uh, need to take into serious consideration. When we accept the Lord Jesus Christ to be our personal Lord and Savior, the Bible says, our names are written in heaven in the Lamb's book of life, never to be erased or eradicated. And in the end, that's what matters. Even if I'm forgotten here on earth, even if they uh, remove my name board and throw it into the garbage, that's okay. Because I'm remembered by God in eternity forever. There is a, a deep, intense desire in the hearts of people not to be forgotten. I must make a name for myself. I need to keep my memory alive for future generations. But sadly, our names are remembered only for a short time after our death. At death, we surrender our wealth. A narrow grave will be the only possession left to the man who uh, called a vast estate by his own name. 
only a narrow strip that constitutes our grave becomes our position at death. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 9 says, Surely great houses will become desolate, the fine mansions left without occupants. So we need to give a serious thought to death. It's going to come, whether we like it or not. Sooner than later, it's going to overtake us. And at death, uh, it's too late to make decisions. All the decisions we need to make should be made now while we are alive. And the most important decision is to trust the Lord Jesus Christ alone for personal salvation, to receive the gift of eternal life, the forgiveness of sins. And then we are sure that we are going to spend all eternity with our great God in heaven forever and ever. If we can be of any help guiding you in that decision, please reach out to us. And we would be only too happy to talk to you and to lead you into that vital decision of life. Have a blessed weekend. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.